Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Surfshark VPN. So a VPN is a virtual private network and essentially it helps to keep your data safe. It helps to anonymize your data, prevent hackers from actually getting to your personal info. We have so many addresses, credit card info, everything on our devices nowadays and you don't want somebody getting at that info. What's really cool with Surfshark VPN is you can put it on your phone, your computer, you can give it to your mom, and limited devices. That's amazing. And let's say you're somewhere where you can't access your favorite Netflix show. Well, you can actually change your geography so you can watch it. Or if you're somewhere that can't get Disney Plus, guess what? Change your geography, you'll be able to get Disney Plus. I do a lot of traveling, I access a lot of public Wi-Fi networks, and I definitely use Surfshark all the time to keep me safe because that's the number one area where like people are accessing your data. They have very weak security and I don't want people stealing my stuff. There's a 30 day money back guarantee as well, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. And right now you get 83% off and three months free by using my code Joel and that is at surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H. So click that link below, use that code, get started today, keep yourself safe, protect your data. So with that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're in Chicago, yes, sorry, Chicago, Illinois. And today we're gonna do a burger challenge at Rock Slake View or Vill or something just right over there. Um, so yeah, here it is. It's a four pound challenge. It has uh, supposed to be about a pound of fries and then a massive burger. I think it has about eight or 12 patties, something like that. I'll get you some more details here momentarily. Let's head on in. We're gonna have 30 minutes to do it. I'll get a free meal if we complete it and a sweet t-shirt. And otherwise we are sitting about uh, $35. So I'll get you specifics, but let's head on in and let's have some fun. All right, everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Looks really good. So like we said, 30 minutes um, and that's about that. So how about we get started? We'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one. Sounds good? Alright. Well, let's rock and roll. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. We're today we're here at Rocks Lakeview. Yes, Rocks Lakeview in Chicago, Illinois, although there is actually no Lakeview at this restaurant. Just putting that out there. Here doing the rock star burger challenge, just yes, that's right. So um, it was a very interesting situation. Um, let's just say it was a little weird. So I'm gonna get into that um, real quickly. I'll talk about the food. So overall, the challenge itself is supposed to be about like, let's say four and a half pounds, something like five, five pounds. We'll say four and a half, five pounds. Um, and it was, it came out as it was supposed to. There are very, 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 very small amounts of meat on this challenge. Um, in fact, I think there's like less than a pound or a pound of meat. Um, and then the majority of the weight is actually coming from the extra buns. There was definitely a lot of vegetables on this challenge, um, like a lot, a lot of vegetables. Uh, again, many buns and then also the uh, french fries. <laughs> That's a lot of fries. The burger patties were like micro thin and seemed to be um, like frozen patties. Um, whereas you really, there was no like option to have them cooked, you know, let's say like a medium rare um, or, you know, kind of do your preference, um, which yes, is very common practice in America. In America, you can have your burger cooked like rare, medium rare, well, well done. Um, something which is not common in the rest of the world, but in uh, the United States, you can definitely can do that and is very common. You can see George eating one of the patties now. Um, they did have grill marks on them um, and they did kind of taste like they're on a char grill, char, char broiled thing. So I guess that's how they cook them. Um, but yeah, like just kind of a typical, almost kind of frozen-ish patty. And then um, it was funny, like there's lots of stuff on this burger, but it kind of just all, mm, let's say, came together. So like onion rings, you did have a lot, again, a lot, a lot, a lot of lettuce, a lot of tomato, a lot of those vegetables. Um, and then, like I said, there is, uh, I think three or four layers of buns in here. Um, there was some cheese, there was some mayonnaise, some different sauces, and there were some uh, jalapenos as well. Um, so like I said, there are definitely a lot of things, a lot of uh, actual toppings on the burger. When it comes to a record, I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, if you looked at the wall, it did suggest that Randy Santel had the record, I believe, at about eight and a half minutes, um, all the way, dating all the way back to 2015. However, uh, then there was also somebody that mentioned a girl came in and crushed it one time, no specifics, but I'm imagining that would be Molly Schuyler um, or you know some other high level female. Um, if they did and they figured she might have had the record, but again, there was no actual like visual, uh, we'll say picture, proof, etc. But I'm, I'm sure if Molly came, she absolutely obliterated this. Um, so this was uh, a second challenge for myself. Um, so just kind of come in and wanted to kind of fit this in, squeeze it in real quick. Um, but yeah, kind of the information surrounding that. Um, so definitely, at least for myself, I wasn't able to go that fast. I was, I was definitely quite full and uh, pertaining to that. Now let's talk a little about the experience. So it was very interesting. 
Um, we arrived, which was all good. We ordered our challenges, um, to which we had a very, very, very long wait, like an oddly long wait. Tables um, beside us uh, that were coming in after us were getting food, um, and we were still waiting, so it was fine. We just figured, hey, like, it just took takes a long time for them to cook the challenge. Um, after an hour, um, they did actually bring the challenges out, um, and they were very cold. Um, which was odd. I'm not sure how like, you know, after such a long wait uh, the meats and all the, the food was ice cold um, So that was pretty interesting And then as soon as the cold food was placed on the table They were in such a rush for us to start um, That in fact the gentleman wouldn't even let me go to the restroom. I was like, okay, cool. Thanks so much Let me go. To, I'm just gonna run to the restroom and we'll start and he was like, no, we need to start right now so not really sure, you know, um, what that was all about, but ultimately, of course, you know, the, the show goes on, so they say. We're about four and a half-ish minutes in. Both doing really well. No shortage of food. So if anybody has any speculation as to why we would have cold food served to us and then be in such a rush to be started, I'd love to hear it in a comment down below. The buns were grilled, um, very, very, very grilled, at least the bottom. Um, but that being said, you know, it did soften up uh, with the moisture just kind of coming from everything else. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's pretty much about the food itself, uh, pretty much the majority around the situation. Um, like I said, it's a little bit of a weird one, but there were some very friendly patrons nearby. Like, for example, there was a lady uh, right beside us who was very intrigued, who we get to talk to a little bit later. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it. Of course, we have uh, quite a serving of French fries as well. Um, but besides that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the challenge is about $35. If you fail, it is free, and you get a t-shirt if you do win. Um, and you have 30 minutes to do so. So I think in regards to, like, the actual um, difficulty of the challenge, again, somewhere being between 4 and 5 pounds, um, I think it just kind of varies and would depend who you, is making it. I've seen, uh, according to the pictures there on the wall, sometimes it definitely looks like you have more fries, sometimes it looks like you have less fries. Um, obviously, while there is standard, like, numbers of bacon, number of onion rings, number of beef, when it comes to the lettuce and tomatoes, there isn't, like, a set amount. So that can also vary a little bit. Um, but overall, like I said, it's, it is technically, I'd say, probably a beginner-ish level challenge. The 30-minute time limit, of course, um, is partly a limiting factor, but, you know, like a beginner-ish uh, challenge, definitely I would say so. And then with the price tag, uh, it's not a very, very high stake. So that's definitely, you know, again, if you want to try something, not that I ever encourage somebody doing a food challenge, but if you were, um, this is, you know, a not bad starting point. Just be prepared to be eating, uh, you know, as uh, let's say lots and lots and lots of vegetables. But everyone, I believe that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. So with that, we'll uh, continue to watch. Uh, we'll continue to hop on in. And uh, let me know what you think of this challenge down below so far. And ultimately, let's tune on in and see what happens. You just don't like lunch. You already told him Becky Fears. About 11 ish, 11 and a half minutes in. Good, not bad. George on this fries. Keep on going.
we're 14 in, 14 and a half coming on. George is doing real well. I just have some veggies left. And George just has like maybe half the fries left. So doing good, man. Keep it up. There's a lot of jalapenos on it. They're spicy. somewhere at 16 minutes for myself. We'll get officiated, you know, here soon at some point. And uh, George just finished up the fries. So keep it up, George. About like 13 and a half minutes left, something like that. Am I good? You guys still have a, you guys still have like... About 15 minutes or so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you, uh, you cleaned it up. Yeah. I'm gonna wait. You can do your thing. Of course. There's a guy out there with a cowboy hat and a vest on that says, David Hansen, the hair doctor. Maybe we're related. Not this specific one, but I do uh, I do YouTube videos of like challenges. I, I do uh, I do YouTube videos. That's right. A really big one I've done is I did a, I did a burger that was like <laughs> this 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 is supposed to weigh uh, maybe about four pounds and that was supposed to weigh about uh, about like twelve or thirteen pounds but that was just a burger like this one had like the fries and that was including the four pounds so like just a very very large one. About 20 and a half minutes coming on that. George just finishing up. Nice. And whatever time on screen, probably just about 21 minutes. So, uh, yeah, there we go, guys. That was the bird challenge. It was uh, definitely a pretty sizable challenge, lots of fries. All right. well, that's about it, so now we get the meal free, we also get a t-shirt, and uh, we'll get on the Wall of Fame, which is right there. So everybody, until next, of course, you have been hungry, happy eating, and uh, with that, have a lovely day. Another big, huge, giant building. Do I know what it is? Absolutely not, but it looks massive. And again, there's another uh, Buckingham fountain maybe, but it looks closed. And uh, yeah, just more of this crazy downtown Chicago. This area is totally, totally beautiful. Uh, I didn't expect uh, Chicago actually to be so beautiful. I don't really know what I expected, but there's another surprise. Chicago is absolutely gorgeous, everybody. The Windy City, but so far it hasn't been windy. Not jinxing it. And here is another view of the downtown Chicago. Uh, well, not focusing for some reason. But look, we're right on the water. Right on the water. 
right in the water, and then the downtown Chicago. Which very beautiful, kind of behind the sun and the sunset. It's uh, it's pretty cool down here. Like I said, very, very, very beautiful. Nice to see it with uh, in all the different dirty windshield. I see it all different uh, times in different uh, areas and from directions. And down there, we have the Navy Pier with the Ferris wheel. Uh, I don't know what else does down there. We'll find out hopefully. And apparently down here, they do uh, fireworks every Saturday and Wednesday. Today is a Saturday, so it's about. Uh, no, it's I think an hour. It's still an hour ahead. We're on Eastern, so it's yeah, about 7:30. Yeah. So about three hours we're gonna have some fireworks. So pretty cool. And gorgeous, gorgeous waterfront views. I didn't realize. I mean, I knew Chicago was on the water, but I didn't realize like how much of it. I guess it was waterfront, or you know. So that's pretty cool to see. Another super cool looking building there. It's almost like a. I didn't know what it was. It looks like a little castle, but obviously not a castle, but it looks like one. You got some sand, donuts, and coffee, and yeah. more Chicago. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So, there, everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.